wait till. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at A-plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. This is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the date for this, our main event of the evening. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 15 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Aurora, Colorado, Corey Sandhagen! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making fun. dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on this way tonight. All right, looking inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Around the triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. 
All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. And he landed the right hand there. Straight punch lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Right under the elbow, the body keep landing. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good match. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Oh! Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Effective strike there by Lee. A uh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Oh, big head kick land. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. Nice leg kick. Wow, huge head kick. Missed with that attempt. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Liver kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice punch by Lee. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. One, two, high kick, go! Big kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Fifteen seconds. Lands a glancing right hand up. Final seconds here of round one. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Stop, stop, stop. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep going. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets on. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. 
right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, nice job landing for me there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Real nice body kick land. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Lands with the right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. He missed with that jab attempt. There. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice punch there. Straight right hand now, just misses. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Back and forth we go. Big kick lands. Just misses with the right hook. What a punch. Nice one, two there. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Hands high, hands high. Just missed with that right hand. And he counters with a left hand. Head kick lands. Effective punch there by Lee. There's no give on that leg. Right hand upstairs. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head. Of you cannot take too many of those head kicks. But this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking fight. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Slips the left hand. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice kick. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Punch land. Nice head kick. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Ten seconds remain in round two. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. What? All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. 
He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Now connects with a right. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Leg kicks. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Drive his shin into his whole body with that body kick. Nice. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Just over three minutes to go. Superman punch there. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Good stick. Throwing that jab, no good. Right hand on point. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent. Defending the takedown, but now he is going to have to mix it up and get the first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Big leg kick land. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? 20 seconds left. Oh, he 
has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Throws the right hand there. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. Check these kicks, or you're gonna be lifting on the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Beautiful strike. So it lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touched it over and over again. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Beautiful kick. Got the single collar tie. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. Ooh, big shot lands. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh! Kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Look at him and trying to shut the liver down. And they separate. Nice knee to the body there. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, tag him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, big punch land. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. Ninety seconds remain in the round. And he caught the kick. Right hand punch from the clinch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Double leg. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got now him to the ground. Now he's going to try to attack Kimura here. This might just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission.
some defense there. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flash him out and just go for the finish. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Hey, stop. All right, you're cut. No big deal. Just a little scratch. Don't mind the blood. You do need you to protect yourself. All right, so the kicks to the body, certainly the big storyline in that previous round. DC, take us through the replay. He did a fantastic job of finding his spots. He was sneaking that kick right up under the elbow and landing those nasty body kicks. He did a great job of recognizing a weakness in his opponent's game and really taking advantage of it. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Lee. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Oh, man. Hands higher, hands higher. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Take many of those, let him check. Knee strike coming, it is blocked. They continue to exchange. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Such a fast leg kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, big head kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Big kick. He loaded up with that right hand, too. Just misses with the jab there. the leg kick now and it's there. Nice job by Lee. Big punch land. Big body kick. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Well, that's not what you're looking for defensively. He moved right into that hook, and his opponent wisely lands it to the body there. He has been increasingly more susceptible to that strike. Let's see if that one gets his attention. Real quick leg kick. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. He blocks the punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds an option. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Nice, sneaky head kick. Sound defensively blocks the shot. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. 
He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Back and forth we go. He loaded up there on that high kick. One minute to go in the fight. Lands the left punch now, followed by a right. Great punch. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, hook to the head by Lee. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Beautiful body. Lands flush with that right hand. Nice jab. Falls up with a nice right hand. What a fight! All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight, we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Corey Sanhagen! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never...